so welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and in this video we are going to discuss the question partitions with the given difference okay so what does the question say the question says that you haven't given an array this is your array 5 2 6 4 and you haven't given a difference d equals to 3 here now the question says that you have to partition it that is you have to select two subsets of it i am mentioning two subsets right two subsets and what do i mean by subsets subsets can be in any order subsets can be in any order and it also says that one of the subset can also be empty. Subsets, I am saying subsets can be empty as well. And subset can be in any order. They, they might not be contiguous. The contiguous are known as subarray. They can be in any order. Any order. Not necessarily contiguous. Right? For example, 5 and 6 is a subarray. 5 comma 6 is a it is a particular subset, right? It is a sub it is a valid subset. Similarly, 5, 6, 4 is a subset. Similarly, an empty set. This is also a subset, right? Okay, moving on. We have to select two subsets. Name it as subset 1 and subset 2. Now, the subset should be such that S1 union S2 equals to the whole array, right? First condition is this. Second condition is S1 intersection S2 is equals to null. That is nothing. That is they are disjoint sets. This, they are disjoint sets. If 5 is occurring in subset 1, 2, 5 cannot occur in subset 2, right? Now, moving on. Uh, third condition is, this is second condition. Third condition is sum, sum of elements of S1 minus sum of elements of S2 is equals to D, which is mentioned here as 3, which is mentioned here as D. These are the three conditions you have to take care of. Now, the question asks you, how many subsets are possible? How many such combinations are possible? possible and mind you that it is not absolute difference it is the actual difference of subset 1 minus subset 2 right it is not the absolute difference it is the actual difference okay how many such subset are possible so the given question to me is 5 2 6 4 i have to find a subset with uh, such that the difference is 3 right so how will i proceed if i try to check each subset my first approach will be to check out each pair of subset each pair of subset right now starting with the empty, empty subset first subset is empty right with it i will pair 5 2 6 4 right because one is empty then second will contain all the elements if one contains 5 it will contain 2 6 4 if it contains 2 it will contain 5 6 4 if it contains 6 it will contain 5 uh, 2 4 similarly it will if it if it contains 4 it will contain 5, 2, 6. Moving on. This is one of the combinations. Moving on, I can choose two elements. So 5 with 2. Remaining are 6 and 4. 5 with 6. Remaining is 2 and 4. Right? 5 with 4. Remaining is 2 and 6. Right? These are done for 5. Now moving on for 2 comma 6. It will be 5 and 4. For 2 comma 4. It will be uh, 2 comma 4. It will be 5 comma 6. Moving on, other subset pair is uh, 2 comma, sorry, 6 comma 4, it will be, with 6 comma 4, it will be uh, 5 comma 2, right? Moving on, moving on, I can say form the set of 3 also, 5, 2, 6, right? 5, 2, 6, it will give me the set, set of 4, then 5, uh, sorry, then uh, 5, 2, 4, right? It will give me 6, then 5, 6, 4, it will give me 2, then it will give me 5, uh, sorry, 2, 6, 4. It will give me 5 on the other hand, right? And at last, all the subset elements are here. That is 5, 2, 6, 4 is one of the subset and another is empty. These are all the combinations possible. These are all the combinations possible. That is, check out all the pair. Now, start it. That is, what I am saying is, calculate, is, is this satisfying my condition? So, it is giving the sum of 0. It is giving the sum of 17. You can check it. That is impossible, right? It is not equal to 3. 0 minus 17 is not equal to 3, right? Similarly, 5 minus uh, 12, not possible. Not possible, not possible, not possible. I have checked all, checked all these out and the only possible is this. 5, 2 and 6, 4 because it is 7 and it is 10. Sorry, it is also not possible but it is reverse. That is 6, 4 with 10. 6, 4 with 5, 2. That is 10 with 7. If you see 10 minus 7 equals to 3, that is a valid combination. That will be my answer. Only this is a valid combination. You can check out all of them and try that. Only this will come out to be true. So my answer for this particular question will be 1, right? And I have already told you the first approach. This is my brute force approach. 
what did I do? I checked out all the pairs of subset. I checked out all the pairs of subset. I used the take not take approach. I used take not take approach to form one subset and the other one was just some minus the sum of elements of that subset, right? And then I just calculated the difference. My second approach will be somewhat different. My second approach will be somewhat different. I will try to use intellect. I will try to use intellect. The question says me to form two subsets, right? S1 and S2. And I have to give, uh, and I have to find S1 and S2 such that S1 minus S2 equals to D, right? This is the condition. Now, suppose the sum of this is A, sum of this is B, right? So it is actually saying A minus B equals to D. A minus B equals to D, right? So A becomes D plus B. A becomes D plus B. A becomes D plus B. Now, what is my answer? What should I do? So suppose total sum is total sum is total sum of all elements is equals to uh, let us say x total sum is x that means a plus b equals to x because we discussed above that the first property says union is equals to array so a plus b equals to x and a minus b equals to d right a minus b equals to d now if i try to find the property so a will be equals to x plus d by 2 right and b will be equals to what will be equals to d plus b that is And okay, so B will be equals to X minus D by 2. You can check by putting in the equations, right? I can use either one of them. Let us go by B. Let us go by B. I want to find X minus D by 2. Can I say number of B is equals to my answer? My theory is that the elements I can found, the subsets I can found with sum equals to equals to B is actually my answer, right? Because I need to find A, I need to find B. So instead of finding A, I'm trying to find B and I'm saying if, the number of uh, subsets of B will be my answer because they are the only possible combinations that are occurring on the left side, right hand side and corresponding to them only certain elements can occur on the only one element can occur fit on the uh, left hand side right. So if I try to find the number of subsets with some equals to B I will get my answer and that is my breakthrough. What will I do? I will just use recursion to find the elements to find the subsets which have this as your sum the B as your sum. What is the B? Total sum I am mentioning it again total sum minus d by 2 right but there are some condition what if total sum is less than d because it has been given in the question that the, all the array elements are greater than equals to 0 that is they are positive so total sum is d so it will become negative it will become negative total sum minus d will become negative so i can say that 0 0 is the answer in this case in this case 0 is the answer second condition is if this is not an exact integer that is up like suppose total sum comes out to be 5 but your d is given to be 2 that means 5 minus 2 by 2 is my target that is 3 by 2 right but that cannot occur because in a cases of uh, integers of array so I cannot form 1.5 by using any integer combination integer combination cannot provide in, cannot provide with me a sum of 1.5 that is axiomatic right integer combination cannot give me a sum of 1.5 so if total sum minus d percentile 2 equals to equals to 1 in that case also my answer will be 0 these are the two base cases you have to take care in mind now you can proceed you will just have to find the elements with b so i will use my recursion how will my recursion work how will my recursion work so let us start with the last index let us start with the last index i will send with n right i will send with n and i want the target to, this is my target this is my sum equals to b right i will send it now suppose 5 2 6 4 is the array and the indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3. Let me change the ink, right? I will be starting with the 4. I will be starting with the 4. In this case, my what is my sum? My sum is 5 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4. That is 17. I want a d equals to 3. So 17 minus 3 by 2. 14 by 2, that will be 7. I want to find the subsets whose sum equals to 7. I will be landing at 4 and I will be seeing there are two possibilities. I will be using a take not take approach. Right? I, I think that you are familiar with take not take approach because it is this is a problem uh, popular approach now so i am standing at four this is my opinion to take it or not right i am standing at index three i want a sum of seven right seven is actually greater than four so i can take it or not take it. suppose i take it and suppose i not take it suppose i take it so what will be the sum left so i will be present at index two and i want the sum as three now but if i don't take it i will be present at index two and i want a sum of seven right moving forward i am standing at six 
this cannot take because 3 the required sum is actually less than this element so I will not take this will give, only give me 1 comma 3 but here I can take it as well as leave it so if I take it it will give me 1 comma 1 if I not take it it will give me 1 comma uh, 7 moving forward this is 2 again this can take it because 3 is required and this cannot take it right so if it, if it take it so 0 comma 1 and if it does not take it if it does not take it so what will I do I will say move to 0 but with 3 sum both the cases are not true they will return 0 because 5 uh, is at index 0 so it will not return 2 it will return 0 it will return 0 moving forward 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 it cannot take because 2 is greater than 1 so it will move to 0 comma 1 which is also true which is also false so it will be returning 0 here moving to 1 comma 7 1 comma 7 Up again two approaches I can take I cannot take if I take it it will become 0 comma 5 and if I if I not take it it will become 0 comma 7 this will be returning 0 in the end because uh, another recursion call of minus 1 comma 7 which is not true so it will return 0 0 but 0 comma 5 is going to return 1 right returned 1 moving forward because this is 1 this will be returning 1 to it right and because this is 1 and this is returning 0 it will be returning 1 above here it is 0 all so 1 plus 0 will give me 1 as my answer and as you can see we already discovered that 1 was our answer that is true that is true the only thing I want to point out here is the thing I want to point out here is 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 this is the thing I want to point out what is the thing I want to point out overlapping sub problems overlapping sub problems and whenever we come across this what we will be doing we will be saying use dynamic programming use dynamic programming now I would like to request you to please stop the video right now and please do the code on your own because the approach has been discussed with you fully now it should be your approach to please try it first and then see the solution if you are not able to submit the problem correctly okay so let us move to the code now okay so here we here we are so i am writing the code but i would like to request you first to please subscribe to my channel because it means a lot of motivation to me and do like the video if you find it helpful right so in total equals to zero for calculating the sum of the whole array for int i equals to zero i less than n i plus plus what will i do total plus equals to arri right moving forward our first case is if total is less than d that means or i can just add it or total minus d percentile 2 equals to equals to 1 in that case return 0 because not possible to find any subset of sub, such uh, targets right moving forward my target is actually equals to my target is actually equals to total minus d and the whole divided by 2 right now it is even so it will be an integer only no need to integer divide in it right so vector of vector int this is my dp array of size n plus 1 and target plus 1 vector int target plus 1 all initialized by minus 1 this is a standard dp approach i am using the code of memoization here now return the solve for i will be using the nth index because i am starting from the last right go from the target and array and dp array and dp array now i will write in the code for solve this is solve here, not solve this is solve writing the code for solve now so void not solve it's so int solve what is it taking int n in target vector of int arr and vector of vector of int and arr moving forward our base case is if i reach is 0 if i reach is 0 if my target is equals to equals to 0 if it is if here if my target is equals to equal to 0 return 1 otherwise return 0 otherwise return 0 right because no no more iterations are possible now if my dp of i and target equals to equals to is not equals to minus 1 that is dp has already been filled so in that case return the already filled value dpi target dpi target it is not uh, it is uh, i here right and is the total size right moving forward what can i do i will say dp of i target equals to solve for i minus 1th this is the case of not take right this is the case of not take target will remain same array will remain same dp will remain same now the case is if if array of i is less than equals to the wanted target that means i can use the approach of take so in that case dp of i target plus equals to solve for 
i minus 1 target now subtract the target because you are using it you are taking it in the cases right so arri array and dp right now in now you can simply return your dpi target but i have already practiced this question and i i know that this will give me a garbage value so i am taking a int mod beforehand only right i can understand if you don't know about it i didn't also know about it when i first tried it so i will be using a percentile mod here and i will be using a percentile mode here as well percentile mode right okay now moving not here i will be just using here dp of i target percentile equals to mod right let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine it should not give any error and it is running oh it is giving an error what is the error here i think i think there is a typing error vector and arr this is the, oh this is this will be dp i just mentioned it again by the arr name let us try it now it hope it should work fine now running an error i found the error this is i minus 1 this will be i minus 1 why because i am starting from nth i am starting from nth so each, at at each i am subtracting the i minus 1th value right so it will be i minus 1 here i minus 1 sorry it will be i here because i am filling on the ith value but i am subtracting the i minus 1 value i know this is kind of a mess up i know so please forgive me and i think that should work fine let us try it now hope it will work and it is working fine let us try it for submit as submit as well and it is running in the meantime do consider subscribe my channel okay so running and 161 days free guys thank you for watching and we'll meet tomorrow with a new question till then please stay tuned and keep coding right keep practicing okay thank you have a nice day